the age-old question, what is the oldest trick in the book? Though technology has made magic secrets more readily available, there are still places hidden to the world where great magic exists. Books, dusty, crackling, worn out books. These books were used by every famous magician imaginable. One would have to decipher the handling by the use of complicated terms and old imagery. In this series, I wish to explore some of these ideas lost in text. Ideas which perhaps make use of props we may no longer utilize. This first effect is known as card through handkerchief. The effect was first published in The Expert at the Card Table in 1902 by S.W. Erdnays. This book is widely regarded as the Bible of card magic and is still cited today. Handkerchiefs were used by every magician at the time, whether at a restaurant or simply using the pocket square you kept in your vest. Here's an excerpt from Modern Magic Manual by Jean Hugard. Their varied and brilliant colors provide pleasing and beautiful effects, and they can be folded and packed in such a small compass that their subsequent expansion to full size appears marvelous. It is not surprising, therefore, that several of the most successful magic acts of today make use of silks alone, and rarely does one see a magic act that does not include at least one trick with silk. The magician fans out the cards, proving all the cards are different. A card is chosen and placed back into the deck. The magician retrieves his handkerchief from his coat pocket, covers the deck, wrapping it up with each side of the handkerchief, The end of the handkerchief is then held up, and upon command, the selected card seems to slowly project itself through the handkerchief. There are multiple ways to achieve this effect. This can be done standing, sitting, with a single card or multiple selections. This is an example of a standing performance using a single selection. Okay, time to get your cards. The deck is shown to the audience and a single card is chosen. It is then returned to the pack. The magician will perform a control or shift, bringing the selection to the bottom. In this example, I use something called the straddle pass, straddling the card between my index and pinky of my left hand, bending it and bringing it to the bottom. And once the card is at the bottom, a pinky break will separate that card from the rest of the deck. The handkerchief is then laid diagonally over the deck, and from the back, the right hand will lift the handkerchief, as well as the deck, away from the bottom card. The handkerchief provides perfect cover for this motion. The card is then placed underneath the fold of the handkerchief. The sides are then folded and wrapped around the deck, covering the selection as well. Twisting the corners together provides sufficient grip for the final reveal. The cloth is held and then shook up and down until the selection begins to protrude and eventually flutters to the floor. The second method requires you to steal the selection in palm. I like to use a diagonal palm shift also taught in the expert at the card table. Once the card is stolen, the deck can be handed out and shuffled by an audience member. In that time, the magician will retrieve his handkerchief and lay it over his hand, palm up, containing the selection. The rest of the cards are then placed in the hand the front part of the cloth will be folded back and the sides wrapped around. The rest of the trick follows the same path as the previous method. And the final method uses a table. A handkerchief can be examined and laid diagonally onto the table. The magician will once again steal out the card only this time. He will place the entire deck onto the center of the handkerchief. Using the same hand, the magician will pull on the handkerchief until the cards are laid over his left palm containing the selection. The remainder of the trick follows the same path as the previous two methods.
This trick can be done with one selection or multiple selection. It makes for a great spectacle anytime there's a handkerchief present. Practice, use it wisely, and play with your own handling to see what suits your performance. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more of these secrets.